Check, check. Part three. Today we are going to the sandbar and dolphin watching. So first we go to the Cirrus bus liner station and we take the bus to Bias City. The bus ride is, I think, about an hour, hour and a half, but now I'm starting to think that everything is an hour. Once we get to the bus stop in Bias City, we take a tricycle to the wharf. There's our tricycle driver right there. For four people on a boat, it's 3,500. Ah, this is how the tricycle rider knew when we'd be back. Yeah. Tell me when they come back. Let's get this money. I don't blame you, man. Get it. Off to the right, you could see those little houses on the water. That's where the sandbar is. We go past it and we go out into deeper water to look for dolphins. The search for dolphins lasted over an hour, and I was starting to think this was going to be my second trip to Philippines dolphin watching unsuccessfully. I did see a lot of flying fish though, and I saw a lot of waves that I thought were dolphins. Like, hey, is that one over there? Is it, is it, is that, is that, is that? No, is that, is that it? No. We finally saw some dolphins. Now, I'm gonna tell you, some of these shots are not great because I was looking at them with my eye and it's much quicker to turn your head than to turn a camera and focus. But I did get a few shots of them. Now while we were there, my wife had the idea to why not just stick your camera in the water and see if you catch any. Luckily I got this one. If you look at it in slow motion, you could see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, maybe ten dolphins there. And I got another shot of these dolphins swimming. This is probably one of my favorite shots that I got on my whole trip. And here it is again in slow-mo. Very cool animals. After that, I didn't catch anything except the beautiful bottom of this boat. Now we head back to the sandbar, which is sometimes called Maldives of the Philippines. As you can see from the color of the water, that's sand right there. So we're only in about three feet of water, three or four feet of water right now. It's very shallow. Sometimes the sand is fully exposed, but not today. They had seafood for sale, fresh seafood. You had oysters, scallops, clams, 
all kinds of shellfish broken, pulled out of their shell, dropped into a bucket, eaten raw. Sushi lover's dream. Giant sea scallop, eaten raw, very chewy, not bad. I'm actually gonna spoon out the sea urchin meat. They don't have a lot of meat, and the meat actually tastes a little bit milky or buttery. Attempted backflip, failed. <laughs> Now it's time to go back to the coast. And then finally, we get on the bus back to Dumaguete City. 